Hello guys and welcome to another video of Gaming in Linux. Today I'll be showing you a shit fucking. Hello guys and welcome to another video of Gaming in Linux. Today I'll be showing you a very popular racing game called R Factor. Um, first of all, I'd like to say I've got this modification called CTDP F1 2006, which is very good to use as soon as you get the game basically because it brings up this which allows you to change graphics and everything inside it and apply 3D arms um, oh wait 3D arms and overs and uh, when you go on launch R Factor it basically brings up this launcher which shows you all your mods which you can choose from because if you don't have this it usually tends to crash your game and screw it all up as you can see I've got a lot of mods so it's helpful for me mainly well all F1 mods basically so today I'll just be showing you, <coughs> not a brilliant mod, but an okay mod, uh, F1MG 2010. And it should hopefully run in windowed mode. Yes, there you go. Um, <coughs> today uh, I've had my first exam, which was a maths exam. And, uh, well, I've only just got back, basically, and... Well, I'm waiting for my girlfriend to come around, so I thought I'd quickly make a video, since there is no point in basically revising when she's just going to come around. So yeah, first of all, I'm using Jensen Buttons uh, McLaren, as you can see, blue helmet, and you got. I just go control and testing and use the Tolban Raceway, as I'll be showing more than one car, and the Tolban Raceway isn't huge so you can make more well I can just pause it and uh, well basically re make it carry on from like having a new car so a garage I just got a quick setup which uses less fuel and changes the wheels Data acquisition is all. I think I've got my graphics on full, which is never good. Because recording my desktop is a pain in the ass, basically. So, as you can see, I screwed up. I just do one lap and change the graphics settings for the next car. So it tends to have random lights because of the problem as well. So, see, it looks okay. It doesn't it's not the best modification, but you know it, it does because it's like the first one. Of 2010, so I'll just pause it now. Okay, so next up is a seven time world champion Schumacher, Michael Schumacher's car, uh, which is a Mercedes Data GP Petronas. And I've turned down the graphics for now, well, now, just in case uh, I just don't want it lagging on my video. But just to reassure you, it runs perfectly on high. Uh, out of my desktop. As it was running fine before, even on Ultra, just it had random lights, which I don't exactly want. But I have car detail on that, so yeah. And just a little shout out, no, not shout out, just to the Linux users basically. Um, if you have this game, well, download the game or buy the game, uh, what you want to do is once you've installed the game, you want to Type in SH Wine Tricks IE6, which installs Internet Explorer 6, which is what you require to run the game. Otherwise, it just comes up with a stupid message. So, yeah, that's okay. It's not fantastic. Sound looks okay. <laughs> I'll pause it now. Okay, so now I've got the um, 
I've got the young German Sebastian Vettel's Red Bull car, which is in the Formula One season the most dominant car up to now since it's basically got every pole position of every race. Therefore, it should be good. <laughs> uh, as you can see, from when I press home, you get this view, and uh, well, it's quite good because it doesn't show as much as like the cockpit, so it doesn't look like he has no arms. That's for some reason it doesn't enable them in this mod. Um, it's got that weird draft over that show, like behind his helmet. Which isn't really that bad, it's, you're not really looking at that little in right head. And I just spun out. Oh, the helmet looks up really good, don't they? Good car. Okay, so now I'll be showing you two time world champions car, uh, Fernando Alonso's car of the Ferrari, Scuderia Ferrari, which is, in my opinion, the best looking car on this mod. Which isn't much of an achievement as all of the other cars don't look exactly brilliant. Quite fast as well. Oh yeah, and um, I might be making more than one video of our factor to show off the mods I have. Oh no! Because, well, when I was looking for videos of the mods uh, which I wanted to download, well. I didn't get exactly brilliant videos, but you know, I'm not going. To, I'm not trying to say that my videos are going to be excellent. They're going to be at least high detail, you know. And uh, I'll be showing more than one car, and I'll be showing like the outside views of the cars and stuff like that. Uh, the sounds aren't brilliant on this mod, to be honest. But to be honest, the sounds of the 2010 cars aren't exactly brilliant either, are they? Okay, now I'll be showing you a brand new established team in the 2010 season, which is Spania Racing, or HRD for sure. And the driver that I'm using is Bruno Senna, oops, which is a nephew of a legend called Efton Senna, who died in 1993, so quite a long time ago now. But people like still think of him, so since he was so good. Okay, so, um. <coughs> I can't really tell a lot of difference in the established teams and the newly established teams. Because the, these cars and the Lotus and the Virgin aren't, don't exactly have much speed difference from like Ferrari and McLaren and I just screwed up yet again. Uh, the car it looks okay, just a bit blurry and stuff. Yeah, if um, you want to get off at the Dazzle Hack Linux, then definitely, definitely download it. You can download a free trial, which will take you a few minutes to download. It's, you can get the light version, which is 100 megabytes, and you can download all your mods. Or you can get the the 1 gigabyte version, which is quite pointless, because you'll probably end up just getting mods anyway. So yeah, I definitely, uh, I don't know about this mod. I don't r really recommend it. Is it's not fantastic. But yeah, it's okay. Let's turn to the one. No, on. So yeah, everything's working. It runs at a great frame rate. Uh, and yeah, I'll put the link to this uh, mod in my description, and I'll put the link to the trial in my description also. So, yeah, uh, I hope my video helped you in deciding on getting this game or something. Thank you for watching my video and see you later.